Canada, welcome to Greenland. Regina, Saskatchewan, today known as the Windy City. That's about to 80 kilometers an hour, Rod, and both these coaches are going to have to deal with this. The strategy can change. And kicking it off is Sandro DeAngelis. The Hunger Game begins in the last couple. Glenn with the win throws. Caught by Nick Lewis. Big gain for Nick Lewis. And it takes an army over there to bring him down as usual. Another second down here. Will he go back to Lewis? Glenn looking, looking. End zone. Touchdown. And for the first time ever in a CFL uniform, Joe West. His first catch is a major score. First game, first catch, first touchdown. Green light here. Daylight here. Inside the red zone in another big romp from John Cornish. Nice block by Cote. Inside the red zone. Glenn hangs in, great protection. And Robbie Bryant has his first touchdown of 2012. What an impressive drive again by the Stampeders. And Kevin Glenn had loads of time there. We'll have to throw now. And knocked down, and it's picked off by Charleston Hughes. And he's rumbling down near the 30. What an athletic play, though, Rod, by Charleston Hughes. Watch how he jumps up, knocks his football. Did he get his hand on the ball, too? Yes, he did. He's the guy who knocks it down, tips it to himself. Second and four, Glenn decides to go to the air. A wobbler to Rombie to make that Nick Lewis. And so now the Stampeders, after that turnover, the best they could do is get three. 30-yarder that must seem like 55 for Rene Paradis, who's made 11 in a row, no chance. Look at that. Tristan Jackson is going to stop at his one-yard line, and there's no yards. Rene Paredes had to try and, and hit that low into the wind, and that's what these kickers are trying to do, to hit real knuckleball into the wind. And because he hit it so low, I think it hit his own protection, his own offensive lineman right in the back, or in this case, he turns and it's in the front. Right off the helmet. Kevin Glenn started in five minutes. Glenn in trouble, escapes, throws the other way for another first down. There's a penalty flag on the play. And again, Rombie Bryant coming back to the football. Mike McCullough made the tackle. Rene Paredes hit his own player last time. This time, no worries. Ninth play now for the Riders. Here they come, the Stamps do, and Durant fumbles the football. And the Stampeders have it. Looks like Jawan Simpson jumped on it. It looked like Charleston Hughes was the guy who forced the fumble. As he comes underneath off his pass rush, Durant took off late, and he takes a hard hit from the right side. Stamps brought the house, and the ball's out. Here it is, they're down. Six yards. Glenn, the rush. Here it comes, loses the football. Odell Willis can't pick it up, and now he does. Calgary has it. It doesn't matter. Saskatchewan with the stand, and now the Rough Riders need their offense to get in the groove. They stack the house again, here they come. Durant has it batted down again. So it's going to come down to third down, and this time they're not going to hesitate. They will bring Sandro DeAngelis out. They're try and throw the ball pretty much every down. 37-yarder is good. Need to find the end zone. Durant, and caught! Chris gets left inside the five-yard line. Kenny Petway with the late hit on the quarterback. Tough catch again from Chris Getzlaff. Nice adjustment as he just gets a little bit more depth to get underneath that one, catches it low on his hips. we got to find the house. Oh, he shoots, piles in. Look out! Here come the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. The Rough Riders may just run out of time here in this game. All attempts at a comeback. Cornish again, four or five. Cornish 
Nowhere to go this time. So it will be third down, but again, there will be very little time left. In the, in the last three minutes here. Here it is. Last gasp. Durant heaves it. Looking for Getzlaff. That will do it. No joy in Ryderville again. They have lost five straight games. The Calgary Stampeders move to 500. The Rough Riders, three and five to the bottom of the CFL West. And on to Labor Day for both teams.